it's Missy Zolda and today I'm going to be showing you the instructions for Kids Club Fold a Star. We'll be making origami stars that look like these and at the end we'll talk a little bit about the Perseid Meteor Shower. All right, let's get started. To get started you will have a number of colored strips that are about half an inch wide. For this example, I have grabbed a couple yellow ones, but you'll have a couple different colors. Um, so you'll start with just one strip and you'll put it at an angle like so and wrap the tip around so you have a loop like this and then take the shorter end and tuck it into the loop and pull it through. Um, you got to be a little bit careful with this part, it's a little fiddly. But then, once you've pulled it through, you'll have a pentagon, so five sides, one, two, three, four, and this is the fifth side. So, now that you've pulled it through, flip your piece of paper over and tuck this little strip of paper in on the other side into that little fold of paper. If you have a little bit of an extra length, you can tear some of it off or fold it under um, before you tuck it in. And then flip it back over this way and we're going to start folding. So you'll take your long strip and fold it up so it's nice and flat on this side and you'll find that it tends to tilt one direction or the other and you want to go towards that side of the star that it's tipping towards and fold it flat down and then it'll flip over and it's leaning towards this side so make sure that you've got it lined up along this edge and fold it over leaning towards the other edge now. Fold it nice and flat, back to the other edge. Um, and you just keep going until you've fully folded your star. Uh, back and forth. Make sure you try to keep your folds nice and clean. And then once you get to the end and you've got a little bit of paper left, if you have enough length here, you could fold it in on the other side, or if it's not quite enough, you can fold it under and tuck it in on this side. So I'll show you both ways. If you think you have enough, you can tuck it in on this side, like so. Or, if it's a little too short, you can fold it under like this and tuck it into this pocket here. And then, make sure that lines up with the rest of your pentagon folds so that it's not sticking out. Then. You take your fingers and on these edges, you squeeze so they bend in and make little points of the star. And make sure you do that on every corner. Oh, it's coming unfolded, that's okay. What we can do is we can untuck what we folded in and try to tuck it around to the other side because I think it was a little too long to tuck in. Like so, all the way over, fold it one last time, and then tuck it neatly into this pocket. And then pinch your corners like so, so that they fold up and make your star points. And you just keep going around until they're all kind of even. And you'll have another pointed star like these. Okay, let's try one more time for practice and I'll try to go a little more slowly so you can follow each of the folds. So you'll want your paper tipped like this um, to the left at the top and to the right at the bottom. Then you take your top and you curve it around over the other piece of paper. So you've got a loop like this. Looks like that from that angle. And then you take your nice short end and carefully tuck it through the hole and pull your paper nice and tight. And then you've got your pentagon again. So one, two, three, four and five sides. Then flip it over. Take your short end. You've got a little pocket here you can see. You're going to take this 
and fold it in just like so. There. Now it looks like you never even had extra paper. Flip it back and fold this paper up towards that V that you've created, up along the side that it lines up with nicely when you do it straight. And then you're going to fold it straight along this bottom piece and it will go to the other side. Then flip it again, fold it, flip again, fold to the other side, another flip, another fold, another flip, another fold. Depending on how long your strips are, it could take you more than this many folds or less. Some of your strips will be of different lengths. Um, but don't worry, so long as you get to the end, you can tuck in whatever extras you have after you've finished folding. So we're on the last one. This isn't quite long enough to tuck in the back, so we're going to fold it down a little bit and carefully tuck it into this pocket that we've made from the previous fold. Push it all the way in so that your side here is nice and straight and flat. And then you have a real pentagon and we'll push in the sides. So press in on all five sides or you can do one at a time. Sometimes they pop in really easily and sometimes you have to press at it a little bit. But they will fold in and you will have a five pointed origami star. Add that to your collection of stars. And once you've got a good amount, you've almost got a meteor shower. So this week in the evening, once it gets dark out and the sun has gone down, it will be the clearest time um, and the brightest time to see the Perseid meteor shower, which is going to have a whole bunch of meteors shooting across the sky. They'll look like shooting stars. Um, and if you can stay up that late with your grown-ups permission, you can see the stars shooting across the sky and it'll be a lot of fun to watch. All right, see you next time. Bye.